Rob, thanks. Well, the West Michigan Middle School and Company is partnering for an inclusive program in memory of a young man who passed away too soon. Our Deanna Fauzon, she shows us how Kyle Gerald's legacy is being carried on by those who knew him best. Kyle, he ended up taking his life back in March, March of 2018. And it was rough. It, it, and it still is rough. And I don't think it'll ever, ever not be rough. It's an experience this mom will never forget. He was in eighth grade at the time. Emily Gerald says her son Kyle was a fun-loving person who loved to joke around and do whatever he could to make his family and friends happy. When I learned of his death, it was like my best friend passed away because uh, we did everything together. We we're really big into dirt bikes, and so it was a family thing. So it wasn't like we were always off doing our own thing because we are always together. A young man whose family says was popular at school but scared to open up about what was going on inside. I think he was just hiding his depression, didn't really say it much, and it really led to his downfall because he was so afraid to open up because he cared what others thought about him. After losing her son, if I just try to find different ways to keep going. She says her company, Advantage Research in Grand Rapids, decided to partner with his school for a new outreach program. Originally, we reached out to Caledonia, where um, Kyle went to school, and actually they were so overwhelmed, and the counseling staff there was working with the current crisis. So we then approached um, Forest Hills Northern, where my son went to school. The company is now sponsoring the Crew Program, which is meant to show middle school students they are not alone. We want to write a new chapter at Northern Hills to help every student feel known and valued, and kids crave connection. They really do, especially in today's age with social media and being online. That they don't need to feel alone and they don't have to hide their secrets. Instead of going to a homeroom, students will meet as part of the program, giving them time each day to open up. Let's sit down, let's talk, and know that there's somebody there that's listening to them and they know that somebody there that cares. I would like to see other schools step up and say, you know what, this is a wonderful program. This is what needs to be done. Our kids do matter. And while the loss of her son is something Emily deals with every single day, it's groups like Crew that keep Kyle's spirit shining on. I know it's so hard with teenagers to get them to open up and talk to you and do it without lecturing them. You know, find a way to find the good in them and what they're doing and just to get them to open up and talk to you and let them know that they do matter and their opinions matter and their feelings matter. Deanna Falzone, Fox 17 News.